In this video, I'd like to discuss some techniques for estimating drywall. Uh, and this is a pretty complicated model. And, and the lower level has nine foot ceilings, the main floor has nine foot ceilings, and the second floor up here has eight foot ceilings. And if I take us inside just a little bit, you'll see this is under construction. We just added the drywall. We haven't done trim yet. But in this case, I've got nine foot walls. Nine foot walls would be uh, constructed using 54 inch sheets of drywall. So that two sheets and one seam in the middle versus an eight foot wall with 48 inch boards. And the ceiling uh, is done with 48 inch by 12 inch boards. And so I want to be able to discern between the two to get my order proper. Uh, when I go up to the second floor, I'm going to have eight foot walls there. So the, the method I'm going to use is the materials selection here, the materials tab and estimator. And if I look at materials, and I'll just uh, hit uh, this material here, you see I've got it called drywall wall nine. Upstairs, I've got a same exact color, but it's drywall eight feet, okay? I'm doing that so that my calculations can be correct. If I looked at the ceiling, I've got a ceiling texture. It's white to have a drywall that's a ceiling, white ceiling for the appearances of things but uh, it's called ceiling drywall and those are the three different materials that I'm going to be using uh, when discussing this and now you can just do simple planes to represent the drywall in my case in this case it's an actual half inch thick drywall on both sides so it's a little bit more in depth than some people would take it but uh, we like to build our models highly accurate here so I'm going to look at uh, to to make this a little simpler to see, I've got a, a scene that's just simply the drywall that's in this model. Um, you can see each level of drywall. So I've got the nine foot ceilings here, nine foot ceilings here, and eight foot ceilings here. And as I created these pieces of geometry, I carefully painted or used the texturing here on one face of those and the one face of the ceiling. If you were to paint this entire thing, you're going to have a, the area is going to be thrown off because what materials is doing is it's looking and calculating the area of each one of these faces. Okay, so you got to be really cautious in your um, workflow to make sure that you're assigning the texture just to the one face that you're trying to get the area recorded of. So you can see it's quite a bit of drywall on all these levels. Okay. So if we look at, at Estimator and the user interface in a little bit more detail, you'll see that, uh, like I'll just come in here and I'll pick on one of these walls. If you now look in the materials, I have only one thing selected and that's drywall eight because I'm on this floor. If I looked at the ceiling here, you're gonna see that, uh, okay, now we can see that we've got ceiling drywall, okay? So in the way that the, the calculations, the way we're gonna look at this is, let's just start with the ceiling in here. Um, the first thing I did is I added a cost code of uh, drywall labor, okay? Um, with cost codes, you can just start typing in what you, your code is or what the item is, and it'll auto-populate that field when you find it. Uh, I put a description of drywall hanging and finishing, and this is actually my installer. So uh, this is the hem is the vendor. I'm using the attribute of square feet and a multiplier of divide by 48 because I want to take the square footage I pay by the board to my installer. So I'm going to divide it by 48, pay $20 per board installed. But since we got a lot of openings in here and a lot of waste, I'm putting a 20% waste factor in there. That's something that every user would have to adjust uh, you know, per, per taste. Um, I don't pay any sales tax on labor. Um, then I've added an associated cost. What you can see is this, that one selection right there takes seven boards to do that ceiling. You get the subtotal up in here. If I look at the other uh, associated costs in here, the first thing that I had done was to uh, enter this data here for drywall materials. Description is drywall 48 inch boards. Uh, my vendor uh, using the square feet, again divided by 48, it's $20 per board. Now I can figure the mud and tape and everything else, but at this point we just use an average of $20 per board to include all the materials. Uh, again, estimator could add as many of the associated costs as you'd like. In this case, I have sales tax of 5.3% state sales tax. Again, seven boards because it's the same amount. Uh, if we were to go and pull a report on that, an HTML report, we can see that 
we've got it broken out between material and labor, two separate cost codes and the dollar amount. So now when we're all said and done, I can select everything in this window and it's going to calculate uh, for the entire house of drywall. Okay, so we can see that all the drywall in this house comes out to 15,000. And then I can then of course run a report on that and I get my total board count of 48 inch boards, 54 inch boards, and the um, labor to install it. And of course you can do it on a floor by floor basis if you want to tell your, your vendor how many sheets to go onto each floor. So that depends on how detailed you want to make it and this is obviously a little bit more detailed than some may do but hope you, uh, hope you get something out of this and thank you for watching. Thank <music> you.